All right, let's see how much far I get today. I'm going to continue working on the shirt and uh, working on the uh, wrinkles of that shirt. And uh, we'll see what, how far I get. I'd like to get onto the hands today. I'm thinking of you using my Super Sculpty to uh, do the hands, but gotta see how far I get before I start doing that. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. Yeah, I've got the fan on again, uh, or the uh, heater on again. Got down to minus uh, six or seven last night, and it was cold in here. So it's going to take a lot of heat to uh, get this place to a temperature that uh, I can work with. And if I turn off the heater, it gets cold in here real quick. Well, it's just part of winter, I'm sorry. I've worn these kind of shirts uh, at a uh, huge rendezvous back in Connecticut. And let me tell you, they are extremely roomy. And uh, for good reason. They're comfortable. There's nothing binding. And... Uh, you sweat so the roomier it is and the looser it is the more air gets in to cool that sweat and it uh, actually acts as kind of like a air conditioning system at least that's what I found the couple of days I spent on the Connecticut River at that uh, rendezvous it was a huge thing it was uh i slept in a teepee for two or three days i think and it was a combination and different tribes back there than out west uh, they had the mohawks and the uh different tribes from you know back east and they had their own powwow going on too and at night you could hear them dancing and singing and their dancing and singing and their drums and all that stuff uh, are different than the music you hear out west it's uh almost like a square dance 
All right, I'm gonna work on his hands now. And I'm gonna do them out of Super, super Sculpty. And th this is the scale that I came up with for this figure. So this is the size hand I'm going to be uh, going by. So I'm gonna make a wire armature for it and uh, let's see how far I get along on that. I think this is the only hand I might run into a problem on. Let me just see. Yeah, I screwed the wire down on that one. And uh, to hold the hand in place. Uh, so I may just go ahead and do that hand out of regular, out of the clay without uh, using a uh, wire armature since his hand is going to be wrapped around the uh, bottom part of the uh, gun case. And the reason, again, why I'm doing this in uh, Super Sculpty is because it stiffens up a lot better than uh, my J-Mac plastiline clay. I'm using baling wire. You can get baling wire from the your local hardware store. Especially if you're in farm country. Even if you're not in farm country. I just apply the clay to the new armature that I just made. Alright, I gotta heat up portions of the clay. Alright, I've put down the uh, tendons. I thought I was recording, but it, if I say the wrong command to my cameras, they won't record. And I said the wrong command. Okay, I'm going to heat my blade up. And I'm going to put the blade right between the finger and the hand and try to get the damn thing lined up with the uh, tendon. <laughs> okay, now... What I'm going to do is once I get the fingers on, I'll take the hand off and work on the fingers separately. I mean, not separately, but, you know, to, well, whatever. I'm just showing you what I'm, I'm doing here. I'm getting the finger at the right diameter, and then I put it on there for the right length. And I use my knife, and I cut it off right where the knuckle is. Alright, I'm going to put my 
candle out. And uh, this hand is turning out good. What I'll do is I'll pull the wire out. I'll make a jig so I can work on the hand away from the uh, the arm. I'll do that uh, next time. And uh, I'll work on these fingers as well for this hand here. Uh, doing the same thing I did on this one. And then I'll uh, paint it. But right now I'm just... Uh, I'm liking the way it looks. It uh, is starting to look like a hand, <laughs> and that's the key. All right, till next time, everybody. Good night. Have a great night, and uh, have a safe night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.